Sorry guys, I needed a snack. I found these at Aldi. Popcorners Flex Protein Crisps. Buffalo flavor. They're delicious. So addicting to eat so many of these. But anyways, thank you for clicking on today's video. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my sleepy time sense. Basically what I wear right before I go to bed when I kinda wanna wind down. Maybe I've taken a bath or a shower and I just want a cozy or a clean scent to fall asleep to. So before we get into these perfumes and body sprays, I would love if you would consider subscribing down below if you haven't already and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I also have an Instagram link down below if you guys wanna check that out as well. Let's get into these. I have four body sprays and four, five perfumes actually. And I have different types of scents here. Like some of them are more clean, some of them are more sweet or cozy, but I do tend to really like a musky sort of scent to fall asleep to, although not all of them are in that category. Anyways, let's start with some Bath & Body Works body sprays. Why not? First one I have here is Sea Salt and Lavender. This is a very like beachy sort of lavender, which is very interesting because it's kind of hard for me to picture that, but when you smell it, you totally pick up on that. It's like a salty, musky, beachy sort of scent mixed with a lavender. And it's not too essential oily, but it's definitely there and it's noticeable and it's calming and it's a really great one for the summertime at night, but honestly, it just depends on what you're in the mood for. You could wear it whenever. I love doing body sprays at night because you can spray a lot and it's a lot softer of a scent. It's not overpowering and obviously they're cheaper than perfumes, so it can get expensive if you're spraying your perfume at night. For me personally, I have so many perfumes that I'm barely gonna make a dent even wearing them at night, but I know that not everyone has this many fragrances, so it's really nice to have a body spray and this is definitely a really nice one. Like I said, especially for summer nights and it just gives you that lavender vibe, but with a twist. Something a little bit different than your typical vanilla lavender or something like that. Actually, you guys, the notes are on the back of these Bath & Body Works bottles, so I'll read them to you. It says, fresh sea salt, blooming lavender, and sun-drenched sands. Basically what it smells like. Then we have Twilight Woods. This is a like discontinued or retired fragrance, but they do still have it on the site sometimes. This is one of the first fragrances I ever wore as a teenager. I picked this out from Bath & Body Works and I wore it to school like every day. So it has a lot of memories attached to it for me. But this is actually the body spray that I actually just keep in my bathroom. I keep all my fragrances over here in my like beauty room slash office space area. But this one I just keep under the sink and maybe that's not the best for the longevity, but I have a really big bathroom, so there's a lot of air circulation. I just wear this one so much after like a shower or a bath that it's really easy for me to grab for it. And I have the body cream to match this, so I really like to layer them. This one has fragrance notes of lush berry, sparkling mandarin, soft mimosa, apricot nectar, and cypress wood. It's kind of hard to explain this one because it has a soft sort of musky vibe, but not in the traditional sense, if that makes sense. It's more of a like woody twist and it has like a clean, soft scent to it. It's not overpowering. That's the thing about this one. It doesn't have a strong musky scent or a strong powdery scent. It's not too fresh. Probably the most like likable out of all the perfumes I have here, just because it's so soft and nice. I can't imagine somebody not liking this. It's very relaxing and like cozy and clean at the same time. It's such a nice simple scent that is still has its own personality and it doesn't smell like everything else. So this is Twilight Woods and I really, really like this one. Even if I'm not going to bed just after I shower, I just love that scent when I feel all clean. Speaking of scents that I like to wear after I shower, let's get into a perfume now. We'll kind of mix these up a little bit. I have this KKW Crystal Violet Musk. So even though I have a few other violet fragrances here to share with you guys, that's something I really like to wear to bed. This one actually does not have violet in it. It has lavender in it. Although it's not overpowering in this at all, this is more of a clean, out of the shower, like soft, musky, slightly sweet scent. It's so beautiful. It has this like marshmallowy, fluffy kind of muskiness, if that makes sense. It's clean, but it's sweet at the same time and it's not too strong. It's not like a fresh, clean, like aquatic scent or anything like that. This is another one that I will wear to bed, but I like to wear it to bed after I've showered. I like to spray this on when I'm clean and I'm fresh and it just makes me feel good and like feminine and pretty. And it's just really, really nice. 
Like I said, it doesn't have an overpowering lavender. It's not too strong or essential oil. I feel like even if you don't like lavender, there's still a good chance that you'll like this because it's different. And it's another one of those lavenders that isn't what you typically smell in a lavender scent. So that is Crystal Violet Musk from KKW. Now let's get into a perfume that's actually violet. This is Daisy Oh So Fresh Twinkle by Marc Jacobs. And this is a perfume that I picked up from Mercari. So there's not much left in this bottle, but I really wanted to try it. And unfortunately it's discontinued. Although you can still sometimes find it on discount websites. It's just a little bit like hard to find. And this one is a, almost like a berry violet. It has a tart freshness in a different way than that musky freshness I was talking about. It's a little bit more tart and fresh like a berry. It's like lightly sweet and it has that violet note that isn't too powdery or too floral, which is really nice because I think if you are new to violet or maybe you don't really like it in perfumes generally because you feel like it smells too mature, this is a little bit more of a young version of a violet fragrance. It's a lot more likable and just like clean and fruity. And I will say, this is kind of like what I wanted the Violet, Candied Violet Sorbet, I think it's called, from Bath & Body Works, that body spray. This is what I wanted that to smell like. That is like a very light, like watery sort of berry violet. It's clean, but it's so light that you can hardly smell it and it doesn't have very much violet at all. This one has a little bit more violet. It's just more potent. It's more concentrated. It's like the perfumey, better version of that. And if you were disappointed in that, I feel like you would like this because this is, like I said, what I wanted that to be. And I do have it. I do own it. It's in my drawer here, but I just really don't reach for it very much. That is Daisy Oh So Fresh Twinkle. They have different uh, Daisy Twinkle perfumes, but this is the Oh So Fresh one. It can be kind of confusing sometimes. I do really like this lavender color though. I think it's so pretty. I guess we can get back into some body sprays. When I really want to smell, not like any of those scents I just talked about, I want something that's sweet and like cozy and warm, especially this time of year. I will go for my Brazilian Crush. I think this is the Chirosa 62. This is the old packaging, so it doesn't have that name on it. It's just the Brazilian Crush body spray, but it's like the scent of their Boom Boom Cream, and I'm pretty sure that this is called Chirosa 62. It's literally just like sweet caramel pistachio. It says on the back that it has an addictive pistachio caramel scent. Yes, okay, here it says Chirosa 62 fragrance. It's just in small lettering. But it literally is like sweet, vanilla-y, syrupy, but not like overwhelming. It's like a soft scent at the same time and like skin-like and literally caramel pistachio in the best way possible. It is so addicting. I wear this one all year round. It kind of has a summery vibe to it in a weird way, but it also has a cozy winter vibe. I feel like it can go both ways. And I love this one for all occasions, but if I want like a sweet, addictive scent, for nighttime to like fall asleep to, this is the perfect one. It's like everything I need for that kind of scenario. Back to my popcorners, I'm getting munchy again. Back to a musky scent. I have a little rollerball here of the Lovely Perfume by Sarah Jessica Parker. I love this perfume so much, but I won't purchase a full bottle because this is one of the rare perfumes that I pretty much only wear at night. So there's really no point in having a full bottle. Something about this perfume is so relaxing and calming to me. It almost puts me to sleep. The only other scent that does that for me is the Sleepy Body Lotion from Lush. And I really wanna get the body spray of that as well, but it's a little bit pricey for a body spray. But the scent of that literally puts me to sleep. It's so calming and like almost like a brain massage, like ASMR or something. And this one is the same way for me. It literally smells so cozy and calming and comforting and just like almost like motherly in a way. It's a musky, like clean, very soft scent that I think has a lavender note in it, but it doesn't really smell very lavendery. It's more of a musky clean scent, but it's soft and slightly warm it just has this, this comforting quality about it and i love it so much so i love rolling this one on at nighttime before bed but it's not one that i really wear for any other occasions i just prefer it 
in that scenario and I love having that attached to it in my memory where I don't have other memories with it. That's lovely from Sarah Jessica Parker. And then one that really surprised me when I wore it to bed, but I don't know why because it totally makes sense. This is Insolence or Insolence from Guerlain. This is the Eau de Toilette version. Uh, this is definitely a very powdery, sweet violet. It is definitely a little bit polarizing to some. It smells mature and dated in a way, but not in the overpowering way that you might think like Chanel number no. five. It's more of a soft powdery violet sweet scent that smells like those little violet candies. And like I always say, gives me a vibe of like someone from the early 1900s, but like a young person from that time. So not like someone older. It literally smells so good. It's like if you picked violets and you put them on your counter like by your sink and you have like a soap bar sitting there, that's what it smells like. Those kind of scents combined together, but it's sweet at the same time. It has a soapy quality and a sweetness that's really addicting. The bottle is absolutely beautiful. It gives me a comforting vibe, a clean vibe, also kind of like a rich vibe. Maybe it's the bottle spraying it on at night makes me feel expensive. And I really like wearing this one to bed. It smells like the best smelling clean hair to my nose. So that is Insolence or Ensolence, however you prefer to pronounce it. And then the last one here is just a little tiny roller ball. Um, I've talked about this one before on my channel. This is the Nest Indian Jasmine Perfume Oil. And this is another one that I don't wear that often out and about, but I love wearing it after I take a bath or a shower or wearing it to bed, especially after a bath and like putting this on with a robe or silk pajamas. It is an unmatched feeling. It literally smells like luxury. Like a rich woman's skincare routine and she has like a silk robe on and she just took a soaking bath. It smells so good. This one though could totally be worn out. I would totally wear it out. It's just that I tend to reach for it more on the occasion I just mentioned, like after a bath or going to bed. When I'm clean though, sort of like the KKW one. It doesn't smell at all like that, but it gives me that feeling of being so clean. So I like to wear it after I've showered or bathed. And it literally just smells truly like sweet jasmine. I think there's a berry note in this as well. But to my nose, it's like I've said this before, if you took jasmine petals and you mix them with a the sugar water and like boil that down into a simple syrup, that's what this would smell like. It's literally like sugar and jasmine. It smells so good. And honestly, it does not smell overly floral. I would have thought that something like this, a tr purely jasmine fragrance or whatever floral note it would have would not smell good because I'm not that big of a fan of like just purely floral scents. But this is toned down. It's not strong or like harsh to the nose at all. It's a soft kind of scent. And then it also is mixed with that really sweet sugary note that just blends beautifully and smells so, so good. So this perfume just makes me feel rich. And I only have this little roller ball, but it is a perfume oil, so it's concentrated and it will take me a long time to go through this. But that's one I definitely recommend. If you like jasmine and you like sweet scents, it's unmatched. So that is all the fragrances that I had to share. I don't usually do videos like this where I mix body sprays and perfumes, but I've been trying that out more lately because I do have body sprays I really like and I don't just do like high end or niche fragrances. I only have a couple of niche fragrances and they're not like the priciest ones you can find. I just like it if it smells good and especially for nighttime like I tend to wear body sprays more than I would for other occasions so actually never mind. I just realized that I have one more to talk about that I totally forgot to mention. It is a body spray. It is from Victoria's Secret and it is their Midnight Bloom scent. This one actually smells a lot like the cloud perfume it's really almost a dupe but if i'm wearing a perfume to bed why not wear the body spray version i think this one actually has a little bit less of that plasticky note that cloud has in the opening which is really nice because that can be a little bit off-putting sometimes and if it takes a while to dry down then it can sometimes steer you away from the perfume but it's just a really really nice fluffy cloud like soft scent to wear to bed cloud is a really hard perfume to describe same with midnight bloom you just have to smell them for yourself and you'll know what i'm talking about with that like fluffy type of scent this one is just perfect for 
wear into bed. That is all of the perfumes now. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know down in the comments what other fragrance videos you want to see from me. I definitely need some ideas right now. If you did like this video, I hope that you'll subscribe down below and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!